Quick disclaimer, I currently work for GitLab. This video demonstrates my workflow prior to joining GitLab. For this video, I would like to focus on talking about my approach to test GitLab. Usually for a private bug bounty program or a bug bounty program that does not allow public disclosure, there are only limited ways to find what the program is really interested in. But luckily at GitLab, they value full transparency. Security issues, they would normally by default go public disclosure 30 days after the issue is resolved. And usually people would think that hacker and hacktivity is the place to go. But actually, there is a better place to go. Let's look at this. Um, here is the gitlab.com slash gitlab org group. This is the place that I would usually go when I want to take a look at their security issues. Uh, because here, GitLab would import all the valid HackerOne reports to this issue. And this is why we are interested in this page. And usually, we would need to do some filtering before we can see all the HackerOne issues. And here, we need to filter all the HackerOne issues and press Enter. And then we can see these are all the resolved hacker and reports that were reported previously. Um, you can see there are some open ones. Uh, they are open because they are usually non-valid or they are not in GitLab security team is not interested in these uh, hacker and reports. So that's why they are public. Um, I would personally, I would prefer going to this page rather than just hacker and activity because here we can see the full life cycle of a bug. Uh, we can see what security implication that GitLab security team is interested in. And we can also see very importantly, the code that were changed because of the bug of the hacker and reports. So let's take a example. Um, because we would like to see something interesting. Let's take a look at something that is more critical. Um, press enter. S1 here, it means that, so there are a few labels that could help you better filter the issues on gitlab.com. Uh, if you want to see just the critical ones that are meant to be fixed within um, 48 hours, then you should apply the label S1 to see it. So here you, we can take a look at this one, RCE. Clearly, this is very critical. Here we can see that reporter um, is has reported a path traversal bug to GitLab and blah, blah, blah. You can read this by yourself. Uh, the reason that I like to read this rather than just reading them on HackerOne is that, see, sometimes the HackerOne report is not published yet. And also you can see the full discussion between the security engineers and also the developers uh, in this thread. They go full transparent. So this is why I like seeing this page. And most importantly, look at this. Here they have this one useful feature called related merge requests. Here we can see that uh, this is the exact code change that were implemented because of this report. As a bug hunter, we can just go directly to the changes tab and see what was changed because of this bug. Because potentially by reading just reading these code changes, we can find bypass to this um, whole situation. And then we can score another critical on GitLab. And this has happened before on me. And this has happened before. And this is the bug that were that happened. So here you can see Yobert reported a bug that you can read and poison cache for all other reports. 
Uh, and here's other steps that he can do a path transversal by introducing the dot dot slash. And you can see the merge requests that were implemented by clicking these links. Uh, actually, these links are protected, but I can see them on another place. Uh, you just need to do some Googling, then you can find it. So after reading the code changes, I realized that you can actually bypass the fix by just not providing the dot dot slash here, but instead you can just put them in the variable, then you can bypass the whole fix. So here you can read more um, by going to this report, uh, but the point here is that if you know where to look, then you can use this place to find your next critical on GitLab. And this is all, and I hope you got something out of this. Uh, thank you for watching.